One stormy morning, Thomas the Tank Engine has to take a heavy goods train of cars to Vickerstown on the main line. As soon as I can get the cars to Vickerstown, the sooner I'll be heading to the sheds. Then there was trouble. A bolt of lightning hit the track. And the track had fouled onto the other track below. And the ballast under the rails just fall straight onto the track below. Thomas reached up to the top of the bridge. And as he got onto the top of the bridge, he noticed something. He noticed that the track of the bridge had collapsed. Oh no! Thomas's driver applied the brakes. But the rails are too slippery. He slipped and skid. And he didn't notice there was a rock on the line. Thomas crashed into the rock and went up to the air. He just went off the tracks and flight up to the air and jumped light over a cliff. And then he was starting to land on the other side and took him with all the cars with him. One by one, the cars are beginning to reach onto the track. Thomas really knew this. And he screeched to a stop halt. And Thomas had stopped too far. And now the van cars were on the edge and the tanker were, were on the edge with the coupling. And then some of the tankers were almost about to come off the rails. Thomas looked at the cars on the edge and wondered what to do. I know. I will puff slowly and carefully to get the cars back on the rails. Thomas puffed slowly and carefully as he tried to get the cars onto the other side. But he couldn't even pull the rest of the cars back on the edge. It was too dangerous to get the cars back onto the line and some of the rest of the cars were on the rails as well as the other ones come on then there was more trouble again thomas pulled too hard and the rest of the cars go on the edge the van car was back was back it was on the edge and the takers weren't. Uh, at least I got the vans on the other side. Uh, what I'm gonna do? I just pulled harder and harder and now this is happening. Uh, what could happen next? In a few moments that Thomas said, the coupling of the, between the, the van and the tanker started to come loose. And then the coupling snapped. And the tankers fell right onto the ground. And the other one is about to fall on the edge. And then on the other side, the coupling snapped. And the last of the tanker fell right onto the ground. And right beside the track. Meanwhile, James is on his gonna make his way back to Titneuf Sheds. And then he looked up and he noticed a brake fan was on the line. Hmm, that's strange. I wonder it could be. James is keep looking at the brake fan until James went on the other way. And as James got closer, James knows it was Thomas. Thomas! Wait, is that James? His driver looked out, and indeed it was. James was very surprised, and he didn't see the track and the 
ballast on the track. Oh no! James's driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. He crashed straight into the broken track and hit one of the supports. And worse, the tankers had tipped over. And then he crashed into the ballast. And then he came off the track. Bust my buffers! Thomas, what happened? I am so sorry, James. It appears the track is giving way because a bolt of lightning hit the track and it collapsed. Do you think you're right? Yes, I am. They stayed there all night and waiting for help. Oh dear, we will shall never get help. The next morning, Harvey arrived with Judy and the works unit coach, along with Percy, Nia, and Rebecca with Rocky. Thomas, you're okay. I heard what it happened. That bolt of lightning just hit the piece of track onto that bridge. Oh, it was, Percy. Don't worry, Thomas. We will have everything under control. And a little bit of teamwork. Both Rocky and Judy helped to get the tankers back onto the track. And Rebecca moved to the other track and turn around on the loop and take the brake van and the tankers away. And Judy lifted James back onto the rails. Ah, <sighs> thank you, Judy. No problem, James. And then Jack moved the rocks off of the track. And at last, the track has been put on onto the top of the bridge. And then Rebecca take one of the cars away. Thank you, Rebecca. You're welcome, Thomas. I'm really always happy to help. And after all that hard work, Harvey pushed Judy away. And Percy put Rocky back to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. And then Thomas and Nia 